Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mrs. Carmop. And in today's episode, we will be making fresh homemade pasta. That's right, fresh pasta. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so for fresh pasta, you're gonna need two cups of flour, which I have already pre-measured out. You're gonna want a teaspoon of salt. And it's best to work on a wooden surface so when you make the dough, it does not stick. So once you mix the salt in with the flour, you're gonna make a well in the center of it. Next, we are going to add three whole eggs. One egg yolk. You're gonna scramble them a little bit. Mix it together. If it starts getting away from you, just use your hands and incorporate it. Incorporate it so it doesn't come off the board. And next, we're gonna do one tablespoon of olive oil. kids that love to cook, like mine, this is great for weekends. It's not very time consuming. It's so much better than stew pot. Okay, so we're gonna get this in a ball. Once you have it formed into a ball, you're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for a half an hour or overnight. So we've let our dough sit in the fridge for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. Now we are gonna put it through our pasta roller. You want to break your dough in half. And if you have a bench scraper, that works well also. Just flatten it out a little bit. Now, if you think your dough is too wet, you can add some flour to it, which it seems like I may have to do that. We're gonna try to put it through the roller first. All right, so on your roller, you have settings from one to, I believe it's eight. You start off on the lowest setting. You want your mixer at about three for the speed. You're just gonna feed your dough through. And it is not too wet. It's not breaking apart on me, so it's perfect. We are going to do a book fold on it. And we're going to feed it through again. So now that we've put it through the first setting about two or three times, you're going to want to take it to the next setting, which is a two. For fettuccine noodles, which is what I will be making tonight, you're going to want it on a four setting eventually. But each setting you will want to run it through twice. So two times, then one. Two times on two, two times on three, and then two times on four. So we have our dough in our sheets. Now what we want to do is we want to let them dry for about 15 minutes to a half an hour. And in that meantime, I will swap out our pasta roller for our fettuccine cutter. Okay, so we've let our pasta dry out now. So you can either run it through your pasta cutter as a full length, 
or you can cut it up. I am going to cut it up. So I'm just gonna cut it up in thirds here. Okay, now we're gonna run it through our pasta cutter. If you have a kitchen egg mixer, you're gonna want the speed set on a speed five when you cut your noodles. So as you can see in our last clip, we had some technical difficulties. So we are going to switch out the fettuccine cutter for the regular spaghetti cutter today. And for the spaghetti cutter, you want a speed seven on your mixer. cook us some fresh pasta. So now we have a pot of boiling water going and I'll just take a handful of noodles and just slowly put them in there. Fresh noodles cook much faster than dried noodles. You only need maybe two minutes at the most and do them in small batches. If you do not do them in small batches, they will stick together and then you'll have a big, lumpy mess. So, okay, we're gonna do this in a couple batches and then we'll show you the finished product. We have our last batch that we're gonna put in here. And then when you put it in, stir it around. As you're adding it, this helps also so it doesn't stick together. When I do a batch of noodles, I just stand here normally and just stir it constantly. So depending on what you like for tenderness, we like ours more al dente. I usually do about two to three minutes, like I said. And then taste one every once in a while. And if it's to your doneness, then you can pull them out. And I just take them with a slotted spoon or slotted fork and then just put them into a bowl like this. Okay, so our noodles are done now. Now I'm going to do heat up my homemade garden fresh pasta sauce that I canned earlier last year. That recipe will be coming probably late uh, summer, early fall. So we're gonna heat this up and then we'll put it all together. So we've mixed all of our sauce together and Mr. Carmop made his homemade meatballs tonight. So we are having an all homemade Italian pasta night. So, Sassy, would you like to try some homemade spaghetti and homemade meatballs? Yes, please. Okay. I heard you were making some homemade spaghetti and I was like, mm, mm. <laughs> Excited. Thank you so much, Mrs. Carmop. Would you like a homemade meatball? Of course. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And do you want freshly grated cheese on that as well? Of course. Okay, there you go. And the pasta de la parmesan. Alright guys, there you go. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like, 
hit that subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, guys, let's go see how everybody's enjoying the pasta so far. Mr. Carmob, verdict is? Oh, man, amazing. Amazing. You can't be homemade. You can't be homemade. Oh, well, there's one. Let's go to the other one, you guys. This Sassy? is definitely approved by me. Homemade is the best ever, no matter how many store-bought things you get.